We are here at the Sarah Lucy Summit 2023 and they have one motto, there can only be one first. So I am ready to lead you around this open house. So David, we are here at your 2023 open house. We're studying your brand new building just before the doors open. But this isn't the only building, this is number six. Mm -hmm. So what's happening in this building and across all the other buildings today? Okay, first of all, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Uh, yes, this is uh, the grand opening of our new um, uh, plant six. Uh, with the opening of these, uh, of these facilities for assembly machines, we are completing our first stage in the uh, expansion process we are going through, um, arriving to 30,000 square meters of um, facilities uh, overall. And um, at the same time, and this is uh, you know what's in here, uh, we have the release of, um, of a new product line uh, with, that we are launching along with these uh, new facilities. Uh, we call it the performance line, and it, it will be also part of the uh, things we are showing, um, not only in this event, uh, our Soto Ruth Summit 2023, but also on the next EMO exhibition in, uh, in Hanover in September. Um, apart from this, uh, we are, of course, having the chance to show to everybody attending the, uh, the event all the rest of the um, projects we are uh, going through. There are like very interesting uh, projects that uh, later I will show you in different sectors, aerospace, aeronautics, uh, capital goods, yellow goods, um, yeah, plenty of uh, different things, including uh, highly automated solutions um, that are pretty interesting. So all these things, uh, along with live test, uh, where we can show the different technologies and the real capacities of, of our machines. This is all, you know, the uh, customers arriving to Sora Luther today will have the chance to take a look. So David, this is just one of the three demos you have in this room. And I'm really excited to find out about this because I've never seen anything like this before. So what is it and how does it work? Yeah, well, it's um, definitely something you haven't seen because that's a very exclusive technology uh, patented by Soda Luther. In Soda Luther, uh, we, are, we, are, we have specialized ourselves in providing different solutions to eliminate the chatter uh, during the machining process. These chatters appear in all machining process and it's one of the biggest uh, problems our customers are suffering. So uh, we have developed different um, solutions uh, based on uh, similar technologies of introducing active dumping on the, um, on the, on the process uh, to um, eliminate the chatter uh, coming from the different sources uh, this, uh, this chatter uh, comes from. Uh, in this case, uh, what we are showing here is uh, the way to eliminate the chatter when the source is the component or the component uh, plus the fixture, which is uh, when we have this kind of um, light components uh, where the, the clamping is um, kind of um, challenge uh, to our customers because they have to machine in certain areas uh, where they, don't, they can't really clamp correctly the component there is some vibration, some chatter appearing. So with this device, we are able to introduce uh, dumping within the process and eliminate in real time um, this chatter. So with this, what we get 
is a much more efficient process where we can uh, extract the maximum capacity out of the machine and get a much better uh, quality surface result on the finished product. So that's quite exclusive um, and patented solution um, developed by Soda Roof. So, what's different about your performance line we are now stood in front of? Yeah, that's uh, one of the uh, new things that comes along together with this new shop. And that's, uh, as I mentioned before, that's part of, um, of the whole project we're going through. Uh, this new line, um, it's uh, something totally new as well in the market, because uh, our idea is to try and offer three different models, three different architectures based on a modular design concept. So we use uh, the same main structures and components to build up different architectures and possibilities for our customers. So here we have some traditional uh, bed type machine, but based on the same uh, features, we are able to provide floor type and even a moving column with a fixed table machine. All of them with uh, similar features, but uh, trying to answer to different needs uh, of our customers. Um, I mean, in order to show the uh, possibilities, we have prepared some uh, different um, cutting tests uh, and um, live demos that uh, later on, uh, I will have to, the, the chance to show you. We are now in Workshop 6, which is uh, your latest expansion. Mm -hmm. But what are your plans for the future? Well, um, as this is an assembly shop, um, and we are gaining capacity in, you know, like more machines to be produced, we are also uh, in need or expanding our capacities for the components that uh, somehow we use for the, uh, for the machines, like heads, tables. And this is what we're planning for the next year. So at the end of this year, we're starting uh, a new plant, uh, plant uh, seven, uh, that will be finished uh, by mid next year somehow. And both of them, which is I think important to mention, are build up uh, following um, sustainability uh, parameters and uh, both 35 uh, with um, uh, lead, uh, where we go, uh, hopefully gold, uh, uh, metal in uh, both of them. So David, we're now in building five and it's a very impressive building. So what are you doing in here? Well, that's the place where we have the um, cutting edge projects and everything we are going to see now, it's really massive. I bet you have not seen a system like this. David, what is this machine? Because it's huge and very impressive. <laughs> Definitely it is. This is, uh, without any doubt, the most complex project um, we have uh, at the moment. Uh, we're talking about not just one machine, but three machines on a production line, together with um, 14 pallets that fit uh, these three machines. We're talking about multitasking, so it's milling, turning, and we have a full um, tool management um, uh, done automatically. Uh, in the end, we have this central storage for the tools. Uh, we're talking about 500 tools that are managed with this um, robot. And uh, from this central storage and using um, robot we have uh, on this, uh, let's say, say like an upper gantry robot, we. Um, can automatically load and unload all the tools over each of the machines. It, each machine has its own ATC with a 100 tool capacity and from the central storage we automatically uh, load and unload all the tools needed for the process. 
and all the system is controlled directly from the customer from just uh, one central control system that can handle not only the production of the components with the pallets, but also all this tool management that I told you about. And I think what's great is, um, on the picture to our right, just shows how complex this machine is. Yeah, that's a very nice uh, picture because you can have an overview of uh, how it will look uh, later uh, at customer side with the three machines in a row, all these 14 pallets, uh, million turning, and the central storage there. And I think it, it's great that it's sort of customizable as well because the gantry loader, you can have that as long or as short as you need. Sure, so um, if the customer needs to extend this uh, line, it will be possible because this solution is, let's say, somehow expandable. So this is just one machine in this very impressive room at your open house. So why have you decided to do an open house? Well. As I mentioned at the very beginning, uh, one of the main reasons uh, was apart from what, what we've seen uh, on this uh, new shop, uh, the, the Workshop um, 6 and the, the new performance line, is the, the fact that we have the possibility to show all these very special and complex projects to our customers. So coming here allows us to show them our real capabilities uh, in order to build up different solutions for them. And I just want to talk about this machine on your right because, again, I have never seen a machine like this before. So what is it doing? That's, um, again, a very nice example of uh, the capacities we have in automation. So in here, what we have is a portal machine, once again, million turning, and they have um, this uh, pallet storage uh, with a capacity of five pallets, but in vertical. That was a need from the customer because the space available in the shop was limited, so they needed a palletizing system, but they cannot really have like a large space to handle all these pallets. So we build up a solution uh, where we store those pallets in vertical. That's a very, very nice solution for a manufacturer of um, pumps uh, for the oil and gas industry. And then, uh, as we're walking through, there is, there is technology to be seen everywhere. And again, on our left as we're walking down, we've got all your big high column machines. So what sort of industries would these be used in? Because the table is uh, quite large. <laughs> <I'm laughing. laughs> yeah, all, this, all the machines uh, here are quite, uh, quite large. Because um, the uh, components that our customers are manufacturing are large. In this case, uh, what we have is a manufacturer of uh, large bending machines, laser machines, and they will use this for another product, which is press, um, uh, press machines, uh, very big uh, hydraulic presses. To be able to handle those huge parts, you need big machines with big tables, mm -hmm. as you can see here. And just as we walk through, um, through this building, we're actually getting now to a machine which we spoke to a little bit before this, mm -hmm. which is quite interesting as well, because you've built a machine for milling carbon fiber and the, the toxic materials, mm -hmm. and then added safety features to that machine to make it safe for the operator and the customer. Yep. Yeah, as you said, uh, this is a, again, very special customized solution um, to deal with a material which is not uh, that common in this size of machines. Uh, we're talking about carbon fiber, as you mentioned. And um, as you can see here, we have a five full, um, five axis uh, head, so a full axis head. Where we have is an exhaustion system for this carbon fiber, because it's very important that this, uh, this material, which could be toxic, it's already, let's say, um, vacuum uh, somehow. But at the same time, we have two systems. Uh, this machine will be fully warded when we are you know, installing at customer side. And we will have like two different exhaustion systems. One for the whole working area, and the second one, as I mentioned, just for the head, just pointing out to the tool, to the cutting area, and trying to get as much as possible all this uh, uh, carbon fiber coming out from the cutting. This is a very unique system, and this customer, they are producing uh, basically components for uh, satellites, so this is an aerospace industry. And talking about 
how this is a, a solution uh, for a problem, we're, hit, we're now moving on to something <laughs> I've never seen before. And I'm, I, I can probably guess not a lot of people in the, and I'm not just going to say the country, I'm going to say in the world have. Definitely. But you've designed and manufactured a machine to mill concrete. Correct. <laughs> That's what we have here. And this is, uh, again, pretty unique. Uh, this is a very large floor type machine. But uh, what this customer is doing is building hybrid towers for the wind turbine uh, sector. Uh, hybrid because the bottom side is made of uh, concrete and the upper side is made of um, uh, metal uh, bending, let's say, fabricated uh, um, um, steel. Uh, so this bottom side made out of concrete must be machine and uh, we have uh, provided them, this is not the first one, in fact this is the third machine we are delivering to them and it's everything designed to be able to handle uh, this, uh, the machining of this, this material, which it's pretty much connected to dealing with uh, high pressure water, pure water that we have to manage somehow. Very, very special. So I think we can safely say there isn't a problem you don't have a solution for. Definitely not. Well, David, I'd like to just say a big thank you to you. Thanks to um, you. For showing me around your impressive facility. It's been a real eye opener on some of the, the technology and the solutions out there. It was so, a real pleasure. Thank you very much. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. This company is forever expanding and some of the technologies I've seen here is one of a kind. This open house has been amazing. So make sure you're here next year.